immune tolerance is the term we use to say that the immune system tolerates normal tissue. The objective to get away from the old paradigm of using immunosuppression and dangerous drugs that depress the immune system and adopt a new paradigm of compounds and drugs and biologics that redirect and re-educate the immune system uh, towards better health. So I'm going to explain those concepts a little bit uh, with you here in the next uh, minute or so uh, and consider this your introduction to immune tolerance. Because in autoimmune disease, as in transplantation and as in allergy, the immune system is attacking tissues that we would prefer it to leave alone. Uh, in autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis, the immune system attacks the brain. In rheumatoid arthritis, attacks the joints. Type 1 diabetes attacks the pancreas. In transplantation, obviously, the immune system is attacking the organ that's being transplanted and so forth. Our objective in, in the ITN is to redirect the immune system in a way that changes the immune cell program and changes the communication between different immune cells and between the immune cells and the tissue so that these tissues, these target tissues uh, that are uh, causing the disease are left alone and that's why it's called tolerance, immune tolerance. Uh, it's a new paradigm that works in some animal models. Uh, there's a very successful conceptual framework in the field now uh, of immunology for uh, how to go about doing this. So the network is formed and funded by the NIH uh, with that objective. 